Hey guys, what is going on? Um, welcome to the video. I really wouldn't call it a vlog because it's just me talking. A uh, vlog is where you actually like do something, I think. <clears throat> well, not really. You don't have to actually do something. But um, <clears throat> welcome to the video, guys. Um, I'm just going to be talking about ABYW, basically. Um, mainly going to update you guys a little bit on what's going on. Um, and, um, about wrestlers that might be coming, or wrestlers that might not be coming anymore. And gonna talk to you guys a little bit about, uh, my music DJ, uh, talk to you guys a little bit about the referee, talk to you guys a little bit about everything, really. <clears throat> so, let's get this started. Uh, first thing I want to talk to you guys about is, uh, someone that... You was an ABYW. He was a wrestler, and um, he has. He's only been in there for a while. He hasn't been in there very long, and um, he. There ain't no reason he can't come. Really, I mean, he just keeps giving me excuses and everything, and saying that he has to go places and do something. And honestly, he he basically don't want to come, whether it's because he just don't want to or whether. It's just too cold outside. It don't really matter what the reason is. The thing is, he just don't want to come. So I'm pretty... And he left the ABYW group on Facebook. And so I'm pretty sure that means he's not going to be in ABYW no more. So the wrestler that I'm pretty sure we lost is Diego. Um, you might know him as Daniel Diego. His wrestling name was Diego. But he just lies. He lied to me. <clears throat> kept telling me that he has to go to Winchester to visit his family. And uh, I talked to his mom, and basically what he's doing, he's just going up there to hang out with his girlfriend. So uh, enough talking about him. Let's move on to the next wrestler. Um, now this next wrestler, um, he's been there from the very start of ABYW. Um, I'm talking about my pie, Justin. Um, you know, he's... I don't know why uh, he's not been showing up, mainly because it's probably been too cold outside, and um, he just don't want to go wrestle in the cold, and he's got a girlfriend that he wants to go hang out with and everything, and I understand that, you know, and everything, and sometimes he don't have a ride, sometimes he don't come because he want, don't want to and everything, but uh, he is really one of the best wrestlers in ABYW, honestly, and... Um, I just really appreciate him being there from the start and everything. But uh, he is still an ABYW, but like I said, he probably won't start coming back until him and his girlfriend breaks up or until it gets warmer outside, which I don't really blame him for not coming because it's cold. I don't blame him at all. Really, I don't. If I wasn't, uh, if this wasn't my YouTube channel and I wasn't the one in charge of ABYW, I honestly probably wouldn't come either, you know. Um... See, the next wrestler I want to talk about is someone that is going to be joining ABYW. Um, he is, um, I don't know how old he is. I think he's like 14 or something like that. But uh, he's only going to be able to come every other Saturday because uh, he lives with his, I don't know. He either lives with his dad or he lives with his mom. And every other weekend, his dad would get him one weekend and his mom would get him the other weekend. And I forget which one it is, but either his mom or his dad lives far away, so he can't come. And then, like, let's say his mom lives in Cambridge, so whenever he goes to his mom's on the weekends, he can come down. I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. Um, that's one new wrestler that I got. I had another rest, new wrestler uh, last weekend, but it turns out that he had to move, so I lost him before I even really had him. So really, I didn't lose nothing there. Uh... The next wrestler that I have, well, it's like the last new one I have, but uh, he is going to be wearing a ski mask thing because he just don't want his face shown. Uh, so don't think he's, like, trying to hide. He just don't want his face shown. Uh, he don't have a name yet. I was talking to him a while ago, and uh, he had a name, but then he said that he didn't really like it, so he's going to change his name. He will be here this Saturday. Well, not here, but he'll be at ABLW this Saturday. Um... See, my music DJ, well, I never really had one. I had one, they showed up one time, they left. I've been talking to a guy about coming, 
He said he had talked to his mom. Haven't heard from him since. But anyway, uh, music DJ, I'll have one February 9th. I will have a music DJ. And, um, and the commentator, Bryden, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Bryden is Keith's brother, or Bulldog's brother, however you know him. And, uh, I talked to him that Friday at Keystone. It's a church group thing that we go to. And, uh, well, not we, but I, I go to. And, uh, Bryden was there, and I said, hey, you gonna come to ABRW tomorrow? Not tomorrow, but, like, it was Friday, so tomorrow's and Saturday. And he said, yeah. Well, Keith showed up. Saturday at 3 o'clock at ABRW, and I was like, yeah, where's your brother at? And he's like, he said he don't want to do it no more because it's born. So I lost my commentator, and the camera guy, he was basically the commentator and camera person whenever Shelby didn't show up. So he basically ain't going to be there no more, and then Shelby don't want to show up for some reason, so she's probably not going to be there that very much anymore either. And uh, the referee has been sick, so which is my dad. He's been a little bit sick. Uh, had like a little cold thing, so he hasn't showed up the last past couple weekends. Um, Michael, he won't be able to show up very often now because he actually, um, he actually is doing wrestling like for school. He's doing wrestling in Rushville. So, um, if that, sometimes that happens on Saturdays for practice or for wrestling meets. So, whenever that happens, he won't be able to come. But really, he don't come that much anyway. Just because there's nothing, no really moves we can do to him or anything. And, like, basically he's just too little right now. So, we really can't wrestle with him that much. I mean, we can because it's, I don't really know. But anyway, guys, um, let's see uh, I just want to tell you guys real quick who the best wrestler in ABRW is. The best wrestler in ABRW, in my opinion, has to be someone that I've known for about 18 years. And his name is Gribby. Oh, wait, that's me. What's up? No, I'm just kidding. But uh, anyway, guys, um, pretty sure that's all the updates on the wrestlers and uh, the people and everything. Um, I ordered some strobe lights, some flashing lights, some... Lights, other lights, I ordered them. We should have them here pretty soon. Um, but if you guys watched last Saturday's video, um, there's something that's been bugging me for a while now. Um, there's this guy, and if you've been watching the last past two or three videos of ABYW, every last two or three weeks ago, he has been coming and choke slamming me out of nowhere. And uh, this last past uh, Saturday, he came and choked slammed me again. I'm pretty sure it's for the third time. And uh, he came and choked slammed me again. Um, because the reason why he did it is probably because he got mad because I pinned him. Well, just because I pinned you in a match that you wanted. You wanted that match. And I accepted the challenge. And then you got mad because you lost, bro. You're facing about two of the best wrestlers in ABRW. Obviously, you're going to lose. I'm legitly one of the best wrestlers in ABRW, and Jack has not lost one match. So, basically, we are the two best wrestlers in ABRW. So, obviously, you're going to get beat, especially in a two-on-one handicap. Numbers game always catches up to you. And then, also, you want to... Uh, then, after that match, you want to get mad about it, and then after... My match that I had with Bulldog, you want to come out and choke slam me just because I pinned you? Really, dude? Well, you know what? Listen up. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to challenge you for a match this Saturday. One versus one. Me versus you. No jack. No shenanigans. No nothing. Because I will make sure last Saturday is the last time that you choke slam me. You understand? Good. And you know what, speaking of slams, I think I'm going to uh, find a table. I think I'm going to set it up this Saturday. And I think I'm just going to have to slam you through it. And the reason why I'm going to do that is to teach you that you do not choke slam me. Ever. Okay? Especially when we're not even having a match. So, Reaper, you show up this Saturday. Me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, in the middle of that ring. And I will put you through a table. 
Now, next thing I want to talk to you guys about, this is the last thing I want to talk to you guys about, and then uh, I'll leave you guys alone. Um, for those of you that have watched my videos, whether I'm talking, whether we're wrestling, whether I'm talking about all C calls or any of that, guys, I just want to tell you guys that I really appreciate all of you guys that watch my videos. All of you guys that click the like button, take two seconds to go down and click the like button after the video. And I don't talk very long, guys. I mean, yeah, 15 minutes, that's pretty long, but you know. Uh, just for those of you that actually listen to me talk for the 15 minutes, you take 15 minutes out of your day. I really just want to tell you guys that I really do appreciate that. And for all the comments that you guys leave, also, I'm just really thankful for that, too. And all the subscribers, 73 subscribers, that's pretty good, you know, guys. And I just want to say thank you for that. And, um... Basically, guys, I just want to say thank you for uh, watching me and being here, watching my YouTube videos on the bad days, on the good days, on the slow days, on the cool days, on the fun days, on the wrestling days, on the whatever day it is, guys. And you guys sit down and you watch my video. And for those of you that don't skip through, for those of you that watch the whole 12, 14 minutes, however long it is, I just really want to say I really do appreciate that, guys. It shows me that you guys really care. Uh, and also, whenever you guys just take that two seconds to click that like, or the 20 seconds to leave a comment saying, hey, good video, hey, keep it up, or whatever you guys say, really, I, it means a lot to me. And even if you guys leave a bad comment like, dude, just shut up, or dude, you're ugly because you wear glasses, at least you guys are actually taking time to comment on my video. That actually means something to me. It actually means that I'm that important for you guys to comment on my videos. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, I like reading comments, guys. And uh, I'm about to run out of time because I don't want this video to go over 15 minutes. Um, the last people that I want to thank, I want to thank all my wrestlers. Everybody, I don't mean all my wrestlers. I want to thank everybody that shows up to AYW every Saturday. I want to thank you guys because it means a lot for you guys to go out there in the cold and the wrestle. It hurts when you get sitting on the mat, but it hurts 10 times worse whenever it's cold. And I just want to thank you guys for showing up, being there on time. Doing the video uh, and just being there, whether it's cold, raining, snowing, summer, spring, fall, whatever it is, guys, you guys are there. And, you know, I'd like to thank my girlfriend, my cousin, and my dad, and all my friends, and wrestlers, and everybody that comes and wrestles. Even if I don't like you, you guys still come there and you wrestle for me. I don't know if you do it for me. I don't know if you do it for the fans. I don't know if you just do it because you want to or because you're bored. But no matter what it is, guys, thank you. I really do appreciate it. So um, I'm going to stop talking here in a few seconds, in about min another minute or two, actually. And I just wanted to take the uh, time and tell you guys thank you. I really do appreciate everything that you guys do, whether it's liking my videos, watching them all the way through, commenting or subscribing to my channel. Thank you for 73 subscribers. I think I said that a while ago. I'm not for sure. But, guys, I just want to leave you right quick with a little lecture, a little sentence lecture thing. Uh... Now, I kind of stole this from Roman Atwoods. I heard him say it in one of his vlogs a while ago I was watching. But uh, I just, I felt like it was a really good message. And I feel like I want to pass that message on. Because I kind of think that's what he wants you to do when he tells you. I think he wants you to pass it on. And pass it on to the next person. So when I tell you guys this, if you guys know someone that's going through a tough time or something. Or if you guys are going through a tough time. Just think of your life. Think of you as a bicycle wheel. You know what I mean? You, if you take that bicycle wheel, any wheel really, but I'm going to use bicycle wheel because Roman Atwoods did. But if you take that bicycle wheel and you roll it down the road, it keeps going, right? But when it starts slowing down, then it, whenever it slows down, it soon stops and then it falls. So think of that, guys. Whenever, you, whenever you're um, going and uh, you come to like a tough time and you start slowing down, just keep going. Don't stop because then you're going to fall down and then you guys are going to have to get back up. Just mainly what I'm saying is if you're going through a tough time, don't stop. Don't think about it. Just keep on going because stopping and thinking about it really ain't going to do anything. I mean, yeah, stop and think about what to do next. But like if you're going through a tough time, just keep going, guys. Don't let that bring you down. Don't let that stop you from achieving your goals. Don't let that – Don't. And any, if anybody tells you different – just don't think about what their opinion is. If they're telling you, like, that you can't do it, just try to do it, guys. I believe in you. I know you can. I got 10 seconds, so I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, be watching this Saturday. Weeple, Challenge You 101. Peace out.